In Quiet Place, terrible alien beings have invaded Earth, and their only objective seems to be extinguish humanity. The invaders are quicker than any vehicle. If you want to know how to survive in Quiet Place, keep watching this video for all the interesting details. Let's begin. First is to secure your roots. You will survive the initial attack when you discover that these creatures follow you based on the sounds. It is necessary to have food, drink, and a place to stay. Avoid urban areas. Noises like automobile alarms and falling objects can be heard even when the city is deserted. Outside, you can discover water sources and the wind can diffuse some of your noises, so look for a place to hide. However, avoid walking on wooded paths. They can hear you through the rustle of dry leaves and go on the hunt for you. With sand, you can bury your footsteps in the sand to reduce noise and protect your feet, since you can't wear shoes. Next is to eat in silence. Anything packed and crispy should be avoided. You can die just by opening a can or a box. Fish is a good example of a peaceful, natural dietary source. Running water, on the other hand, will drown out most of your other noises while also providing you with a convenient source of clean drinking water. Fortunately, the aliens don't appear to notice that we have a cooking fire going. As a result, you can prepare your fish. However, avoid using oil or dishes, as they make a lot of noise. Sadly, greens are out of the question. It's easy to listen to noises when you plant, harvest, store, and eat your food. Up next, make an effort to learn new languages. Without speaking, you must be able to get your point over to other survivors. For the time being, the greatest solution is to learn sign language. Although it differs from country to country, this sort of communication is common. An international sign language exists, and it's extremely close to American sign language. To send Morse code signals across long distances, simply light a match or kindle a fire. At the very least, it's a good idea to know how to pronounce SOS in case of an emergency. Three quick flashes, three extended flashes, and three short flashes can be used. If you don't hear anything after a few seconds, try again. This is wonderful. Other people have made it out of this disaster, so keep an eye out for them. Next up, prepare loud and distant noises. Regardless of how elusive you've gotten, you'll still get caught. When you start making noises, the monsters will follow. Get ready with some loud and faraway sound sources to divert their attention, of course. Make use of your shelter's ability to shoot off firework devices. Bluetooth speakers, for example, allow you to stream audio wirelessly. That is, if there's still electricity. Portable solar panels are an option if the power grid goes down. Next, use amplifier and a microphone. As you can't spend your entire life in hiding, you're gonna have to fight for something at some point. Fortunately for them, their greatest strength is also their worst flaw. Audio feedback seems to wreak havoc on those deep ears, which are so sensitive to sound. When you connect an amplifier's output to an input device like a microphone, you get audio feedback. So you'll need an amplifier and a microphone microphone to get started. You can also go for an electric guitar, which is a lot of fun. Those tiny pickups act as microphones, converting the sound waves produced by your fingers on the strings into an electrical signal that can be sent to the amplifier. Next is to use drones and flashlights. Drones can be used for this purpose. Even the quietest drones create some noise, yet drones can be useful in a variety of ways if operated from a distance. If a creature spots a drone taken off, use the noise as a distraction to entice it out of the way. Death angels are very fast, but flying isn't one of their abilities. Therefore, it shouldn't be too difficult to lose a monster once the drone is at a high altitude. Even drones can be employed to scout out locations and keep track of the number of aliens there. Drones can be used to set traps, too. A low-flying drone may guide the monsters to the lake, where they'll drown. Despite the monster's exceptional hearing, they are unable to see anything, making torches an absolute need in your home base. While it's best not to venture out at night in general, if you must, make sure to carry a flashlight with you to help keep on the safest path and steer clear of any sticks or leaves that may be lying in the path. Since communicating with free-roaming aliens isn't advised, flashlights can be used to send messages and communicate in Morse code. In the event of a power outage, having extra flashlights and batteries on hand is a good idea. Using a lantern in the event of a power outage is a viable option, but keep it away from monopoly boards. Or use solar panels. Your safe haven will need a security system similar to the Abbott's, which includes cameras all around the basement televisions, in order to be constantly monitored. However, in a society where silence is a survival necessity, solar power provides the most reliable source of electricity. Solar panels, in contrast to generators, make almost no noise when put properly. It's possible to hear a buzzing sound from the inverter, as well as the wind. Despite these drawbacks, solar power remains the most discreet option. In addition to being a cheaper and cleaner alternative to power, even the most obtrusive solar panels don't attract much notice. And that's all about survival techniques in A Quiet Place. Time to move on to some other news. Now in other news, A Quiet Place 3 is currently under development. Despite the rumors of a third non-sequel in The Quiet Place universe, Paramount has confirmed that a direct sequel to the original two films is in the works. To avoid spoilers, we don't know yet how much of a hand director John Krasinski will have in the project, but if the Abbots are to live in a world overrun by razor-tipped extraterrestrial beasts, we may assume he'll be back in the director's chair alongside Emily Blunt, Millicent Simmons, and Noah Jupe. So far, a 2025 cinematic release date is all that has been confirmed. No further details were given. The spin-off, on the other hand, continues to move forward under the direction of Pig director Michael Cernoski, with Krasinski on board as producer. This spin-off of the Quiet Place series is slated to hit theaters next year in 2023, though no cast has been announced as of yet. Who will be returning for A Quiet Place 3? Despite a few close calls in the second film, and Noah Jupe will all 
reprise their roles in A Quiet Place Part 3. According to Simmons' comments to Digital Spy, she would be honored if she were to star in a third film or even the spin-off movie. If she could, she'd like to return. The largest newcomer in the sequel was Killian Murphy Emmett, who was revealed to have known the Abbott family before the apocalypse. Regan looks to him for guidance and support in the sequel's battle against the aliens. Thus, we can assume he'll be back. You also can't count out John Krasinski, who played Lee Abbott, making another appearance. He appeared in the second part's breathtaking cold open, and comparable flashbacks might be seen in the upcoming films as well. The Abbots could make an appearance in the spin-off film, but as stated previously, it's also possible for the cast to be completely different. In 2025, A Quiet Place Part 3 will be released. A Quiet Place Part 3 is currently under development with a release date of 2025. This disclosure was made to investors at a Paramount event. The announcement was made by John Krasinski on Tuesday during a Paramount Investor Day. Krasinski seems like an obvious candidate for directing the sequel, although no one has said anything official about the position yet. Next year's anticipated release of a spin-off by Pig director Michael Cernoski has made A Quiet Place one of Paramount's most popular franchises. The original Quiet Place, which Krasinski co-wrote with Brian Woods and Scott Beck, launched Krasinski's career as an A-list filmmaker and with a worldwide total of $341 million, was hailed as a global success. After a month-long suspension due to the coronavirus epidemic, Krasinski wrote and directed A Quiet Place Part 2, which premiered May 2021. Despite the pandemic, it raked in a significant $297 million at the global box office. As depicted in the Quiet Place films, a blind alien species has colonized our planet, relying on sound to find their victims. Krasinski's real-life wife, Emily Blunt, appears with him in the first installment and makes a brief appearance in the second. Noah Jupe and Millicent Simmons play their in-universe children. The couple has no children of their own. If starring Ryan Reynolds and Steve Carell is Krasinski's second directorial effort set to release in 2023, the Paramount film also stars and is produced by Krasinski. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any measures to survive in Quiet Place? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!